I see a lot of patients who have contact lens related eye problems. Um, so if we look back at the sort of contact lenses you can have, you have uh, soft contact lenses, uh, hard contact lenses, and much larger ones known as scleral lenses, which uh, require you having a, 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 a sort of a, la a layer of fluid between the contact lens and the eye. Uh, and all, all forms of those contact lenses could cause problems. We do know that if we look at soft contact lenses, the ones that are the daily disposables versus the longer term wear ones, they have a low risk of having problems. And when we look at the problems that you can get, you can get um, uh, an allergic response to your lenses, and that can have to, that ha often happen after years of wearing them. Um, you can get infections that can result in corneal scarring, and I see a lot of patients who have that. One of the worst infections that you can get from contact lenses is what we call acanthabeba keratitis. And this is a little bug that uh, lives in the water and can exist as spores. And often with contact lens wearers, especially if you shower in your contact lenses or you swim in your contact lenses, you're at higher risk of getting this on your eye. And in severer forms of it, you can sometimes require corneal transplantation. So it's not a small infection. It's, we treat it very seriously. So if you do get problems with contact lenses, it's really important you get your eye seen to early on, either by your local optometrist or by an ophthalmologist. Um, the um, allergic response to your eyes is really uh, can be quite difficult to settle down if you don't have a period without your contact lenses, and that can often mean a month or two without using your contact lenses at all. Um, and really in that disease, you're wanting to reduce the inflammation quite quickly um, so that you can then um, start tolerating your lenses beyond that. If it grumbles on, you're then thinking about not being able to wear your contact lenses. Often for patients, what I'll say is, if they can, reduce the wear time as much as you can. So give, uh, give your evenings a rest from your contact lenses. At weekends, try and rest them. I personally, uh, I wear soft contact lenses and I will have, on a weekend, I will wear a contact lens in one eye but not in the other. And that gives my one eye a 24 hour rest period and then I will switch. And it's quite useful on a, on a non-working day to be able to do that because it gives your eyes a, a bit of a rest period. In patients who wear contact lenses for long periods of time, dry eye disease is very common. Um, so it's important that if you do get dry eye disease, it gets uh, sorted out and treated very early on to prevent you from then running into problems such as infections.